yeah, mine has just properly started. I realised mine was still running from the 5x5, five five, so I thought I'd better stop that and start again. Um. <laughs> Okay. Be careful, I'm streaming, they will barely hear you. So, <laughs> this might lead to mine getting blocked at this rate. <laughs> Charlie's got ultra confidence around here. <laughs> yeah, David Ward, if you can hear us, get in your Red Bull, please, mate. Your language. <laughs> I'm str I'm streaming and voices are enabled, so To be honest, they're, they're based on what I saw on the, the Spain replay, they're too busy having a squabble at the end of the race. <laughs> well, you said that, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. <laughs>
Well, David Ward obviously doesn't read his messages because he's readied up and he's still not in the car. <laughs> I've messaged him as well, so it's not a, it's not a case he's not been pre-warned. Oh, he's unreadied. Has he realised? Has he? There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's seven oh three, so yeah. Beat me to it. <laughs> Good evening, Dave. Are you ready for this? <laughs> it's, it's a start. Right. Or they'll be happy, that's for sure. They'll be nice and happy with that. So yeah, so here we are with the GP2 league race here at Monaco. By far the trickiest track on the calendar. And one where really only a couple of drivers tend to finish if uh, things don't tend to go too well. Um, normally you see people go out early, try and get a bank of lap in and then see how that goes. It looks like the two Mercedes boys are going out very early. So Dave one oh two five who's got out first. And he goes on to the ultra soft. Mayhem onto the super soft that looks like. Uh, that's Soul Man. Also onto the Ultra Soft. So Mayhem feeling confident he can get high enough on the grid on the set of Super Soft. Oh. Already locking up on the outlet. Well, I suppose it's if you're going <laughs> to try and use a soft tyre, I'd be best doing it at the start of the session, and if you've got a chance to, you know, go out again and recover a potentially bad position. Um, yeah, if we saw man, we'll do, start doing the same and start backing up. Dave, 1025 comes around and start hopefully set the first lap of the session. Mm. Well, I'm watching Dave 1025 in the moment. It was going up the hill. Okay, yeah, I'm just in proper broadcast. Oh, Dave 25. Oh, just click the barrier. Going into start of sector two. 
and slow around the hairpin. Visibly, mayhem, mayhem visibly looks quick already, just based on the the view. I've got there. You can just see him closing up. Might be a invalidated lap from Dave there. He went all over the curb at the chicane. Again, it's pretty strict on that on this track. Oh, is he? Oh, he is a very, very lucky boy. Dave 25 has gone out again and Ferrari has come out of the pits right in front of him. J19 and the Ferrari and he's going to get in the way here. Yeah, he's running to the back of him. Gone straight into the back of him. J19 did not get out of the way there. And that's uh, a damaged wing and a lap gone for uh, Dave 25. And a potential possible block investigation for J19 there. Okay, so it didn't, it didn't invalidate its time then, which I was quite surprised there. The Soul Man in P2, 2.3 off. Ooh, Soul. Yeah, he goes fastest. A one, yeah, 115.8. Puzzling's gone second as well. On a 169. Again, that rear end on David Ward's car is very loose. He really does love a loose rear end, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. David Ward's kind of fits on them. Going again, he's got to be careful not to take so much life out of these times. Last a while, but it's still effectual strategy. Just dropped down the P4, maybe four seconds off the pole time. Yeah, navigation as you came well. If you can get the swimming pool section right, it's going to be a good lap. Oh, he's tentative for the swimming pool section. At least it should be a lap on the board. Might still be good enough for the top three. Yeah, second. Yeah, he's two and a half seconds down off pole by the end of the lap. So yeah, if he's getting a decent process, that's a lot of time lost in the final two seconds. Oh, he's... He does look pretty, pretty nervous turning in. Mayhem's gone out... A... Mayhem has gone out again, but he's also on the super soft again. He's gone out on the same set, I guess. Because I'm sure you get given one set of the medium range tyre. Yeah. Is he on a lap or is he on an outlap? He's made it through past where he uh, binned it the last lap. He's coming up to a Toro Rosso, but shouldn't get in the way. If anything, you get a tiny little bit of a slipstream. Second. 
Yeah, 1.6 off the lead. And to be honest, if he's on the front row on a set of super sauce, he'll be happy with that. Mike White sides out on a lap. Now I know Mike has only done a couple of laps today. That's all he's done practice wise. Um, around here. Um, he's currently carrying an injury which won't be helping him. Um, so we'll see how he does, but. Oh, he's hit the barrier quite hard. Lucky to get away with that. <laughs> and like a corner cut the me there as well. Oh, well, Solomon's crashed out. <laughs> Yeah, Solman's in the barrier at the end of the swimming pool section. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so coming out of the finish the lap. Oh, it pull in, puts in, no, it stays in P8. Oh, six. Yeah, it's just it. He did, okay, so he's, he's showing us 6.1 seconds slower. Got in his way Just behind him. He looked, looked pretty decent for the chicane. Oh, Dave's crashed out. Oh, he's boxing. Charlie's out there. And he's got. I think mean, that's Puttman. There must be Puttman in front of him because Solomon's already out of this session. I don't know if Puttman's on the lap or not. Okay. Charlie's a bit deep into the chicane. Oh, he's in. Oof. Look, he's. Yeah. He reckons backed out. Yeah, he, I think I think he's gonna be a bit of an in, bit impeded by passing the name. Oh, he's, he's boxing. Oh, he's hit the wall. He's <laughs> just coming in. I think Mayhem's going out is that Mayhem? No, he's in the box. Box on going out. Up to seventh. Is that up to seventh? Or is it just. Well, for Dave 10, 1025 now, he's out of this session having already crashed out, and he's only going to be at best P5, which could could be interesting for him in the first first couple of laps. In the middle, middle of the pack. Mike's stayed seventh, but he's improved his time. He's getting closer to that. I think he's into the teens now in terms of time. You can David Ward is on a flyer coming into the swimming pool section. Again, in the rear. Oh, he's. Oh, he's. Just keeping it out of the barrier. <laughs> okay, he's obviously not happy with the uh, second row, wouldn't it, at the moment? Does David Ward improve? 
Oh, it's invalidated. It was invalidated. The race director showed there's been an invalidated lap, that 13.9. Mayhem now, he's coming towards the end of his outlet. Well, I believe he's on an outlet. Don't quite, might actually be a flyer. Oh no, he's boxing again. He has, he has indeed. That might be why he was pushing then. Get, get into the garage and out quickly. Okay, it's super soft. That's lag, but he's still going. That could be problematic for the race if there's lag. He did that last time, didn't he? A 20.1, and then he lost it all. Lost it all, sector two and three. And he's tentative. Going into the tunnel. Deep on the brakes. A bit more attacking this time than he was last time. See you there. Might be an improvement in terms of his overall time. Uh, no, it won't be. <laughs> oh, he's hit the barrier. Again, I think this might be due to the lack of practice. Again, I think he's in damaged wing. I've been seeing Charlie playing Titanfall quite a bit this week. <laughs> David Ward is taking it easy up the hill. I don't know if he's just gone faster again or... No. Spare into turn one. Oh, he's hit the barrier again. Oh, might be sl ever so slight damage to the wing, but not enough to affect the car. Still represents it, yeah. I think Mayhem will just be looking at trying to get on the front row here. Oh, he's deep into Raskets. Oh, just keeps out the barrier. Over the line. Oh, he's only half a second off pole, but stays in P3. Is that half a second? That nine, sorry, nine tenths. My apologies. Um, the numbers aren't very clear to read against some of the buildings. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's. I think that might be. I think that's Charlie in the McLaren. It is who's yet to set a lap. I think he's on. No, he's getting out of the way. So he's also not on a not on a flyer. But you want to get a lap on the board soon, otherwise you'd be at the back of the grid.
Oh, is that? I'm out of time. Okay. Oh, I suppose I better leave the. Oh, mayhem's binned it. Oh, he's su is he survived? Is he? Su he is survived though. He didn't destroy his car. <laughs> he's managed to keep going and then retire. I'm going to exit the lobby now. That's twice that Mayhem has done that. And he's not an easy customer to get past. So, um, yeah. If he can get a good jump off the line as well, he'll be, uh, he'll be on the outside going to turn one. But if he can get a good getaway, he might have an opportunity. I think for these guys, they just want to try and keep it clean the first couple of laps. Not go for too much too early, considering it's a uh, 78 lap race. Well, 7.30, the priest will get underway. See, so we're in the normal five minute break now, between qualifying and the race. We know it should be a dry race for these guys, so they'll be coming down to, if they can keep it out of the barrier, in theory they can do a one-stop. Um, but I think it'll be coming down to who, pretty who loses the least amount of the front wing, I think. Every time I've looked, it's been two or three. But the tyres can go more than long enough, in theory, to do a one. Yeah, definitely. It's inevitable in either league, to be honest. It's just a lot of cars going into not a lot of space. Um, <laughs> it's going to happen. There is just no room for error around this track. And obviously for in the case of Charlie's, he didn't set a lap. In theory, he will get a free choice of tyres, won't he? Because he didn't set a lap. It also depends on what tyre strategy he went for to determine how many he gets of what tyre in, in, in the race. In theory, you probably go, just go for the softest option available. So the estimated tyre life for the Ultrasoft is 42 laps, with the Super Soft being 60 and the Soft being 80. Um, that's the prediction that the game is given anyway. So you can do more than, in theory, you can do more than half the distance on a set, set of Ultras. But it depends whether people can get can get halfway through without the need to pit for a front wing or a puncture or whether whether they pit pit due to safety car conditions. Yeah, 
you know, I think the best I've managed around here in terms of pit stops is two, two stops. But that was also without actually losing a wing. I was quite impressed with that. Um, the year I lost to the title to Antonios by five points, I believe it was. 2012. Yeah, 2012 that was, and quite gutting. Win the race and still lose the championship. <laughs> yes, we had issues during the during the season. I think we had a a mass disconnection or a lack of drivers or something, and they got pushed to the end end of the calendar to stop us from falling behind against the rest of the leagues. Um, but that was entertaining. I have to admit that race. Okay. Let me know when the formation lap starts and I'll rejoin. while we're waiting for these guys to do their formation lap, what did you make of uh, what we witnessed on TV earlier today? And Dave? <laughs> it was a case of how slow can you go before the tyres get too cold. Yeah, well, that's that's what he was doing, wasn't he? He was just going slow at the points where you can't overtake, and then belting it out of the corners and using all his battery down the straight so Nico can get past. <laughs> um, he did a. It was brilliant. It was people were, people were speculating whether it was a you know the right thing to do, the sportsman thing to do, but to be honest, it made the race on edge right to the end. Because even on the last lap, if Vettel had lunged one up the inside of Rosberg, he could have allowed Verstappen to get near him as well to possibly push Nico away from the position he needed to win the title. But anyway, forget about that. A GP2 race at Monaco is underway. A lot of tyre smoke at the start of the race, but David Ward keeps his position. Oh, there's... What was that, contacts? We'll make it through. David Ward holds on to the lead. And J19's already in the barrier. J19 has already retired from this race. And we've got a virtual safety car. Up what's happened. So yeah, David Ward and Hutland's still first and second, Mayhem third, Dave 25 and fourth, Mike Whiteside up the fifth, Charlie in P6, Solman P7, and Big Dave in P8, but not really trying. Um, <laughs> so yes, our first casualty is already gone. Thank 
dribbled, really slowing up onto the pitch straight. He's flawed it, is this a virtual ending? You might be the best person to tell us, Dave, just happy to sit out there. There it goes, it's ending. And back racing. Puxman got a good run. And made a wall up the hill right on his gearbox. be able to make any progress or will be able to get past because he has shown this season that he is the driver to beat but can he actually one keep out the barrier and two make any moves or will he just wait to the pit stops wait for mistakes I think he'd be quite nervous as well considering the two errors he made in qualifying. Um, I'll tell you what, these two McLarens are looking pretty racy as well. <laughs> Charlie right on the gearbox of Mike. If I was Mike, I might think about letting Charlie through, I reckon. Charlie looks a quicker driver at the moment. Yeah, he didn't set a lap, so I would have thought there'd be a, a fresh set. Oh, that looks like a bit less, bit less wing through, the, through that tunnel. So, oh, is that David Ward? David Ward has made a mistake. What happened? Yeah, what we saw was him recovering from a... I, I wonder if he called a barrier coming out of the chicane. It sent him into a spin. Oh, and he's boxing. Nope, he definitely won't be. Especially if he's going for the ultras again. So he's got to pit again anyway. He's not done the uh, mandatory uh, tyre change. But that was for a front wing. Still holding on to that uh, position against Charlie, but yeah, Mayhem's looking, looking quite eager to get by. Uh, if, as long as Puffalum keeps it on the on the track and facing the right way, it will be almost impossible to pass. Very deep on the brakes, and he closed up a lot there. The RS open, but can he? Would he dare a move? Thinking about it. Just got to be careful not to run into the back of him. The last thing he wants to do is lose a wing. He's thinking about it, and there is a bit. There is a bit of contact. No, he, he was too far back. You need you need to be a bit more alongside on this track to be able to get a pass done. So it's not a case where you can lunge up the inside and hope to stop because you won't stop. Because there's a barrier there. Yeah.
Yeah, Passing them certainly not looking phased having Mayhem right behind him there though, will he? Yeah, so they are. Yeah, he's a far. Well, we did pre-warn, I think, that action could be uh, could be missed around here. Just the sort of hectic nature of this race. But yeah, we've got McLaren 3-4. David Waters. David Waters got past Soulman, it looks like. Soulman's either pitted or just been past. He's looking at all. He's <laughs> struggling to stop that car into Rascas. David Waters passed his lap on 1.775. These McLarens are. And the ro oh, white side did just catch the barrier coming out of the hairpin. I wonder if that might have done enough to damage the wing a bit. But Charlie wants through. I'm sure he'd be asking. Oh, there we go. I think he's going for it now. Here we go. Up the inside. No, that's out of it. <laughs> I think he might soon ask his teammate whether he can get by. Because they're losing a lot of time doing this. They're already in the Chinese skip the chicane. But they're already 17 and a half seconds off the lead. And they've only been racing for a couple of laps after the virtual safety car. Oh, Mayhem's got <laughs> We are missing everything, we do apologise. Putman's lost half his wing. Hussman's hit. Hussman's hit the wall. Yeah, he's lost. And Dave 1025's out again. Again, he's hit the wall. And again, that is zero points. It's ah, just no words can describe what the season he's having at the moment. now got a very very healthy lead and if Puzzland does pit for a new nose which he is now the two McLaren should be second and third Charlie looking around the outside of Raskas <laughs> that's a bold look but he's got yeah he's got DRS up the inside don't make contact, guys. Oh, I think he's got also got a little bit more wing on, or he's just not, just not opening the taps up yet. Maybe in a lower engine mode. Oh, he's got him this time. A little. Oh, he's hit the barrier. Why? Why is he hit the back of him? A little bit of a rude overtake, I think, for two teammates, but Charlie is through. I think that might be a good thing for Charlie, because um, David Ward are catching these two extremely quickly. David Ward is already in the tunnel. He's coming up very quickly, and I think releasing Charlie might have been a good... Good move there, whether it's intentional or not. Charlie's already got a two second gap on his teammate already. And he's pushing. I, th uh, I wonder if he did lose part of his wing on the back of Charlie there. When they had the little contact in this mirror though. So he jumps back. That's, that's the indication if his car jumps back in the pits. Mm, don't think it did. 
Oh yes, there we go. There we go. Just very late to do so. So yeah, he does hit for a new wing, having and he's gonna come out right in front or right alongside Patterland. Oof. Is that now? Oh no, Soul Man that was, not Putman, that was Soul Man. Come out along the road. Putman's a little bit further up the road. But Mayhem has already got a 24 and a half second lead after 10 laps. I think it showed how much Charlie, how much time Charlie was losing behind his teammate. Yeah, he'll be praying for a safety car because that will then allow him to go on the attack on a straight away. But yeah, this gives an opportunity to get, get into a rhythm, get some good laps in. And the fact he's already pitted once as well which will mean he'll go further into the race than Mayhem. In terms of pitting next, if they don't damage their cars. It certainly does. Oh, David's gonna get close to the wall there again at the chicane. Yeah, it's really pushing. Charlie's hit the barrier at Rascas. Okay. Yeah, that has allowed puzzling through. That would annoy Charlie. I know him, and that will be really frustrating. Um, Oh, we've got a safety car. What's that about? No one's retired. Just having a look see if anyone's lost. No, he's going past it. He obviously didn't want to. He's got the gap. No, he goes round. He's going round. He he seemed to be thinking whether the pit or not, but I wonder if uh, he just that's just keeping the well. Even if he had pitted, he would still would have come out in the lead. But yeah, it's a bit a bit surprising. So I'm wondering if. Uh, any of these guys, David Ward, Potterland, Charlie. Potterland. Going round. Oh, oh, he thought about it. Charlie is in. And again, he hits the wall coming into the pit lane. As <laughs> he did in Quali. So what does he go on to now? The ultra soft. Yep, fight should. Because yeah. yeah, the um, pit lane line is just around turn one. Mm -hmm. Again, comes out in front of the scene, mate. <laughs> Mayhem's already caught the safety car. But yeah, we're still none the wiser if that was brought up because of Charlie's spin. 
but it was a bit delayed to come out if it was. Yeah. And also it means David Ward is in second and will be right behind him. So... Fifteen, something like that. we've already done four, four or so laps on them in quali. Yeah, so we'll be getting to about 20 laps old those tyres by the time the safety car comes in. And we know how racy David Ward is. He had right behind the safety car. Pretty careful not to lose his wing on it. Has caught the queue. Passing on not too far behind. And two McLarens come into the tunnel now. So, it should. Oh, Saltman is still yet to reach the tunnel. If they safe car goes around one more time, which I think it will do, everyone should catch the safety again. And the safety car is going around again. Neutralisation of the race here. But the field will all be bunched right back up. And Mayhem, David Ward and Puston are all looking all looking quick in the opening stint, so we could be in for a decent little battle here once the safety car comes in. The McLaren boys have just caught the back of the pack. So man, he's not far behind. Just coming to the tunnel now, so he should catch him in the swimming pool section. I'm on board when yeah, lights are out on the safety car. We'll start back in the pack up now. And we'll be going green in a few seconds time. And the mayhem go out of rash gas normal. Yeah, and goes for it. And we're back on the green. And David Ward right on him. Right under the gearbox, not going to say is that record David Ward. And Puttland right behind the record as well. Oh, I think we've... Yeah, I think we the McLarens have... Charlie's come off... Oh, Charlie's proving. I think he's got damaged wing. Oh, 
it's all good, we're all right. Oh, he's going to hit the barrier. There goes a the wing now. Wing's definitely gone now. Back with the leaders. That's the second time now the McLaren boys have had a bit of contact. Staying right with the Mercedes. Puff them just starting to lose touch. Ooh, David Ward is very late on the brakes until she came there. Oh, Mayhem's hit the barrier. Mayhem has hit the barrier. Kept going, but lucky boy. It was easily, of course, the puncher. Well, Putlin's in the pits. I think Putlin has lost the wing. And he's still out on the super soft. And out again on the same tyre. And that has promoted White White side up to P3. the leaders and again David Ward thinking it looked like there he was thinking about throwing one up the inside and look close fairly close look better of it and he will get DRS this lap as well so if he can get a good exit Mercedes get better drive. That last corner. Oh, traffic coming out of the pits. That's so man. Getting right very close to getting in the way there. I was on board with David, he was he just lost the rear coming over the crest of the hill there I think. Because Charlie just does the fastest lap of the race. 117.2 Well we do we have seen before he does like a an oversteery car so we're probably not too surprised by that. Yeah. Two very different lines through uh, the swimming pool section there. Again, you have DRS. Can you get the run this time? He's closer. What do you think of the move? He's thinking about it. Oh, yeah. Too far back for that. He's definitely wanting through. It takes a lot of curb at the at the hairpin, as uh, David. I'm really using the curb to get the car around. Tell you what, he's very close here. Will Mayhem defends. He's oh, there's going to be contact. He was yeah, he was more than half a car up the inside. 
he's looking everywhere for an overtake. Yeah, Mayhem's got to be careful not to close the door too much. Especially when he's got a... Oh, he's, he's stuck. He's, he's going to be in the wall. They're both in the wall. They're both in the wall. And Mayhem gets out in front. Charlie's in the pits again, but he was. Charlie got himself back up the P3. Oh, he's retiring. Charlie's just retired in the pit lane. And that's a surprise, considering points were clearly up for grabs there. Oh, Puttlin's hit the wall at the top of the hill and got away with it. He might have a puncher, actually. Yep, Puttlin has got a puncher on the right rear. And that will allow my white side again to reclaim P3. Yeah, Puttlin coming through the tunnel now. Very, very slowly. With that right rear puncher. David Ward thinks better of it this time in the turn one. I wonder what Mike Mayhem would have thought of that that move. Because David Ward was alongside, he did get by, but just clearly went too deep. And yeah, just left Mayhem with nowhere to go. Yeah. Yeah, he waited for David to turn in, but unfortunately, David didn't turn in. <laughs> He's going too deep on the brakes. He's looking to... Looking like he's just trying to set one up again. He's getting a lot of understeer through... Oh, he's going to hit the barrier. I think he's got a puncher. I think he's got... Might have a left and right rear puncher. He has, and spun it. And here comes Puttlin. Not Puttlin, that was Soul Man he went through, just to unlock himself on David. So yes, yeah, so we have got Mike Whiteside up into P3. He's too far back to worry, worry David Ward for uh, second place there. We are now down to five drivers, and we're just over a quarter of the race through. So anything, anything will happen in this race. No one is safe from the barrier. No one is safe from a possible safety car. Or, well, speaking of that, who was that? That was Putterland in the barrier of this swimming pool section. And he's lost another wing. That'll be another trip through the pit lane for him. Mayhem moves along quite nicely now. He's again got a nice healthy half a minute lead. Just a puzzle and lose another wing. Doing a doing a rock. Just done a Nico Rosberg. And he's now gonna lap down.
Yeah, definitely. Mayhem, I'm on board with Mayhem's pit light is on. So his team are expecting to pit anytime soon. He's in his pit window. As he goes deep into rush gas, he's got to be a bit careful of that. It's so easy to go too deep and hit the barrier there. Yeah, it'll be it'll be in his pit stop window, won't it? Yeah, so we have had this we've had a virtual safety car and a real safety car. And I believe he's the only one yet to pit, isn't he? Oh, David Wall's got another puncher. I think. I think he's just... He has. He's given himself another puncher in the swimming pool section. And we've got a safety car. Mike's coming through Raskast now, so yes, David Ward will keep hold a second. I wonder if Mike will think of pitting. No, he goes round. Well, I wonder if that safety car was for the Wars having Charlie, yeah. He's got another free pit stop. <laughs> um Surely we'll see Mayhem pit now. He's surely got a pit now. Yeah, and he's in. Should, I suspect, go for the Super Soft. And it is. So the Super Soft are running. like the two Toro Rossos are actually a lap down as well because they're just coming up the hill now and Mayhem is already coming to Mirabeau so yeah so the, the two Toro Rossos will be in between Mayhem and David Ward when the safety car comes in Hairpin down the Toros has already gone through there. So Mike Whiteside, although he's third, he'll be at the back of the train. And he's coming through the hairpin now. But Mike will be enjoying this because he's um P3 and in theory he's almost gonna be a lap ahead. The guys in fourth and fifth, because he'll be right behind them when it comes to the safety car coming in. So he's got almost an entire lap on the cars behind him on the field. Again, although that was a free pit stop for Mayhem, that's probably not what he would have wanted. He still had a more than rough. Of more than enough of a gap to pit and get out in front before the safety car came out. It's just Mike Whiteside yet to catch the train that he's coming up in there. Should be with him very shortly. David Ward is on the softer rubber compared 
some mayhem, but the two Tolarossos are also on the softer rubber, and we know Putnam is not slow around there. He's not had, um, not had the best quarter of the race. Yep, the entire field are now with the safety car. As I said, Mike White's going to be smiling now, so he's got P2 right in front of him, and the guys in 4th and 5th behind him are almost a lap behind. Interesting. Yeah, Mike is now P2, and David Ward goes for another set of ultras. Did he lose his, has he lost his wing on the back of a one on the back of a Ross? Yes, he has. He's knocked his wing on the back of the Toro Rosso in the in the train. That looks like Mike Whiteside is in P2, and he will be grinning at the moment. Just Yeah, definitely. And he's, as I said earlier, he is carrying an injury as well, so he's not got in the most comfort while racing around Monaco. Suffered a, a fractured rib. Um, yeah, so he's driving around with a fractured rib at the moment. Side Mayhem is back in the pack. Up, yep. Lights are out. Mayhem has got the luxury of two back markers between him and White Whiteside. The P2. And he goes again out of Raskas. David Ward looking straight away to try and get past White Whiteside. He's up the ins he is, they got this goodly contact. And they've got the two Torossos battling away in front of them. This could be this could get a bit problem. Oh David Ward lunging up the inside. Oh that was way too aggressive. <laughs> and still trying to get past Soul Man ahead of them. So this is... They, yes, they should be getting out of the way, but they're also battling, so they're not, not wanting to give each other... Oh, Puzzling's moving out of the way now. It might be a good decision, actually, from Puzzling. He might let her follow these guys through and jump Soul Man. Oh, Soulman's hit the wall. Does he hit the wall? Yeah, I think Putzman's put him. Putzman put him in the wall. It <laughs> looked like as he came through. Yeah, I think he's got in this. No, again, he's gone. No, oh, he's run Mike out of. He's run Mike out of roads. Oh, was that Putzman? Was it? Sorry. Um, Puzzlin's, and Puzzlin's just purposely crashed. Just caught Puzzlin crashing on purpose. Yeah, they were, he was a lap down, so that was, I apologise, I thought, so I saw David had gone quite deep, I thought initially he'd run Mike out of road. Mike had broken 
broke earlier to get the, get the corner. Yeah, Puzzling has um, wiped him out. I think we're looking at possible li po license points there for Puzzling by the looks of it. But yeah, we're now down to three drivers. And Soul Man, if he can keep it on the road to get far enough into the race to be eligible for points, he's going to get on the podium. And I'm now getting that sound glitch because of, I was on board with Puttelin when he crashed. On purpose. Unfortunately not. It's just like a lawnmower, lower tone engine noise you get. It might resolve itself, I think, if I, if I witness another crash. I think it then might re witness it reset itself back to normal sound, but... Yeah. I, I lose the sort of a pitch in terms of the engine noise and the, sort of the environment around. The Soul Man has now lapped enough to grab that third place. I'm surprised I didn't bring a safety car out of that crash at turn one there. Because, yeah, might once I was in the barrier at turn one and then. Oh, David Wall was close to the barrier there. And obviously Puttland decided to bin it at the, the uh, around where the casino is located. He's got to be careful. He's already suffered two punches. Yeah. Well, we had a situation, you might not have realised or heard about this day, but we had a situation where we were doing practice earlier in the week, and Matthew, Matt, um, during practice, punctured all of his sets halfway through practice, so he wasn't able to go out on a, any dry tyres, because he punctured them all uh, in, in practice. So he wasn't able to, and David Ward's in the pits again. But yeah, if you keep using up sets, Oh, he's got a time penalty. He's been held in the garage. And he's going on to the soft tyre. Uh, yep, there it is. And I bet he'd gone to the soft tyre because he might not have had much of, much of a choice. He's... He's been... Oh, he's hit... I think he caught the barrier again there coming out of the pits there. But yeah, David Ward has already been through the pits five times. Mayhem only the once, Soul Man three times. Mayhem now has... Well, it's saying 38 seconds, but I think it's more than that. Because mate, Yeah, it's about, about right, actually. It's just a bit deceiving. So he was only going through the tunnel when uh, Mayhem was going down the pit straight. <laughs> but yeah, it is a short lap round there, so I guess that's about right. I don't know why, if we're, while we're going through a uh, bit of a lull in this race through all space, I don't know if you're thinking, maybe thinking about trying to get some drivers in here, possibly. 
Well, actually, no, I'll gaff two, aren't I? Because I'm a I'm host. Down at turn one. I might try and get the uh, get the McLaren boys in there. Oh, Mayhem's gone into the Soul Man moved out of the way to let him through and Mayhem went into the back of him. Lucky, lucky not to lose his wing there that he got caught out by Soul Man lifting off for Raskas. And, and we're we're joined by Mike Whiteside now. Um, we we caught what happened. Must be extremely frustrating for you. Just tell us how your race was going up until that point and what you made of the incident. Uh, oh, the, the race has gone pretty well. I was sort of like, I was tapping the wall every now and then and that, but not on, not on too serious. And uh, after the second safety car, I got myself to the second place. I thought, so, oh, if I can keep defending here, yeah, I've got a chance. Uh, David Ward uh, was being very aggressive going into the corners. And uh, coming to the first corner, he, he pushed me wide. And then Puffland came and hit in the hit the back of me of what I can tell from my video, but uh, I don't know if you've seen a difference or not. Well, uh, I think Dave caught the better angle of it of me because I was on board, well, watching broadcast you with David Ward, and I could see he had just made the corner and it left you with almost no room. But I think you would have got away with it, and then last next thing I know, you're out of this race in the barrier. Um, yeah. So yeah, it looks yeah, like Puttle and uh, went into the back of me. Yeah, Puttle went into the back of me. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm disappointed. Like, but it's racing for you, isn't it? I mean, incidents happen. Yeah. But for us, if I could keep on hold a second place or even third place in the race, I would have been happy. I was, I was saying um, in commentary before you were when you're behind the safety car, you had initially you had second right in front of you until David Ward pitted so the cars yeah. in front of you were the cars who were behind you on the road so you're near enough yeah. a lap ahead of the cars um, in fourth and fifth so you're looking very good for a podium up until that point um, yeah, it's a real shame See, I'll have to have a, another look at it like, and then uh, have a look at your video before we decide what to do. But, uh, well, at least I don't have to do this race for another year, so it's not too bad, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's normally the one race that most people like to get out of the way. Mm. Because it's but, but hectic. For someone like myself who hasn't done any practice on it till today because I've been too busy in that, it's, I, I, I thought I did pretty well up to that point. But, uh, yeah, you're doing well it. too. You just got yourself into positions that yeah. were beneficial. I think that's what racing's about though, isn't it? Having battles, you have battles with people and incidents happen. So. Yeah. I just take it on the chin and continue to go for Canada in two weeks' time. Yeah, and hopefully you'll uh, get yourself a decent result at Canada. Oh, any result will do me. <laughs> <laughs> some points on the table. Just get some free races. Not any points now. Get some, get some points before the uh, before the Christmas break. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Hopefully, same for your teammate as well. So obviously, um, it looked like he actually retired in the pit lane. He retired in the pit. He did, yeah. Um, did he say anything to you? No, he didn't. He wasn't, he wasn't saying that. I know. Uh, he, I know he pitted. And then a, a few laps later, he pitted again. And he must have, must have full wing damage, or he had a drive through or something like that. Mm. And uh, and then he just retired then. Was, was there, was, yeah, was there any conversation going on between you two when you two were battling at we the start Charlie. of the race? Yeah, because no. Charlie looked like he was wanting to get through, um, no, but was, you were holding your position. No, I don't no. know if there's any team tactics probably 
starting no. to kick in between you two. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, there was no conversation at all. Uh, he didn't say he didn't say anything during the race. Uh, Fair enough. But yeah, thanks for um, coming to speak to us anyway, Mike. And yeah, shame Ain't we no didn't. Worries, shame we didn't no end the way you had hoped. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, cheers, guys. Cheers, Mike. And that was Mike Whiteside. Always as bubbly as ever. half distance yet or one lap away from not even getting to half distance <laughs> we've been going about 55 minutes it was about half past seven wasn't it that we got got going it's now 25 past eight and we're only half distance yeah for sure Hopefully the second half of the race, if there are only three cars out there, it might speed up a little bit. I don't expect to go to the to the two hours, assuming the game does the two hour time limit. hardest of the tyres available and he's coming up to Soul Man to lap him as well. The soft should get to get to the end no problem because the durability is supposedly 80 laps which is the whole race distance plus an extra two laps so those tyres should easily get to the end but I think because they're so durable they don't offer the most amount of grip around here. But yeah, I think he's only on that set because he's gone through quite a few sets already. Having pitted five times. Yeah, that gap is fairly steady now. Staying. The only, unless there's more safety cars, the only thing that will change it could well be time penalties between these two, which I'm just having a look now. Let's see if any, uh, David Ward's got three seconds. Um, David Ward's got another three, so that's six seconds for David Ward. Mayhem's got three. David Ward got a stop go and yeah and he got a warning for crossing the white line on the pit exit and another three seconds so that's nine seconds in total for him so far he is pushing made up 12 seconds so he's got 12 seconds in total already, and Mayhem 3. I believe I've not looked there, Soul Man has about 6 or 9. So he's definitely pushing, but I suppose for him in a way as well, as long as he doesn't get disqualified, the time penalties aren't really going to be effective. So he's a, he's a lap ahead, the third place, or two laps ahead, I believe, actually third place. Yes, he is. Just got to keep out the barrier. It's still a long way to go.
David Ward in the barrier again. He has. Puncher and a front wing on. Punch, another punctured set. So that's a, that's his third set he's lost to punches. So he's going to be in a situation where they're going to be putting him back out on scrub sets soon. And he's going on to ultras, and I would have thought they would have been a scrub set, those ultras. Mayhem's coming around Raskas now, so David Ward is not a million miles away from getting lapped. It looks, oh, that's a bit. He's currently, um, his car's currently ghosting. He's, I think he's in the pause menu by the looks of it. His car is ghosting. That's half a lap now he's been ghosting. In theory, that's not allowed if he does that for a considerable period of time. Yeah. No, he's just taking control. So he's done two thirds of a lap. Um, only at the tunnel. I thought you would have been closer than that. Uh, yeah, he's been in twice now. I think he's just just stopped. Uh, oh, his first yeah, his first sector was four seconds slower. So yeah, I think he's just return he's on his outlap effectively yeah that was a one minute 42 lap that so yeah he definitely uh, <laughs> he's definitely uh, been through the pits again that might be a wise thing to do actually just stay clear of any traffic Yeah. Soul Man, yeah, not Soul Man. David Ward has been through a lot. He's probably on a scrub set of ultras. It'll be interesting to see if he can get those ultras to the end. We've still got 30, 35 laps to go. That's pushing the boundaries off that set in terms of durability anyway. And he's close to the barrier again at the top of the hill. across the line one more time. Start that 44. Not David Ward coming out to lap Soulman again. It's obviously Soulman unlapped himself once. David's uh, little trips against the barrier in the pit lane. Come up to a tricky part of the track to let him through. Just gotta be patient here. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's well that's in that section of the track that's pretty much the best you can do. I think some people when they get to lapping cars or even being lapped, they sort of panic sometimes and try and get out of the way instantly no matter where they are on the track. 
there are occasions like it here or places like Singapore um, where you've got to give it two, three, four corners maybe before you can sort of let a car through. Um, so yeah, so that was that was perfect from Soul Man there. Waited for the right moment and got off the racing line at the perfect time. Currently got the fastest lap of the race anyway on a 117.5 and that was set was set a little while ago now. Where was when was that set that lap? Yeah that was set on lap 34 oh, it was not too long ago, lap 34. It was actually when he was on the soft tire. Mayhem's is a 117.8, which he did on lap 4. That's his PB. 17.8 on lap 4. He is indeed. So yeah, so he's been through the pits twice, Soul Man three times, David Ward leading the way on six times through the pits. It's good to see Soul Man still running out there as well. I know he's a couple of laps down, but he's on for a podium here. Well, oh, David Wards, there we go. Fastest lap of the race, 116.4. Just beats his own fastest lap by 1.1 seconds. And he's ghosting again. He's got to stop doing that. That's not allowed. And he lets off the pause menu coming into the tunnel. putting a little advisory out during the next FIA about yeah David Ward taking it slowly at the last corner he's going for a fast lap here sort of build up as if he was doing a quali there is brave. I know he wants to go fastest lap, but if he gets it wrong, we could lose P2 here by being in the wall. It's a very brave tactic he's playing here. Yeah, I, I can understand it, but there's no point. It's very risky to do, knowing that even though the worst he can finish is P3, he's not far enough into the race to score points yet. Classified, yeah. The 
question was um, asked to me earlier is what would there we go 116.2 from David Wall so he's gone two cents quicker the yeah, question was asked to me earlier is what would happen if say we only got half distance and everyone crashed out would that mean no one scored points because technically that's not 75% is it or enough to get classified <laughs> it's quite an interesting question that Yeah, 90% rules for us for classification purposes. Um, so for like a situation like this, people can't just quit out and expect to finish third. Yeah. Yeah, you just classify the race from the last complete lap, wouldn't you? I think that's what we used to do, wasn't it? when we had a uh, sort of mass disconnections from lobbies back in the day we got more than half distance into the race and we disconnected just classify it there and then oh he's ghosting again is he doing the same thing every lap I'm noticing almost allowing the AI to drive up until the tunnel and then he uh, takes back control after the tunnel sent David a message saying stop going into the pause menu so he has been officially warned one handy thing about having the app on my phone I'd have to lose my uh, broadcast straight as well, it's a bit of a sort of strange 10 minutes going on from David Ward here moments going to the pause menu and then moments he was oh, was that someone nearly in the wall was it? still going around in third place, doing very well. I think the fact he's got no no pressure either as well, he knows he can't catch the two guys in front. 
so even if there is a safety car, he's still a couple of laps down. Um, and there is no one behind him to challenge him, so it's just a case keep it out of the barrier to the end of the race. And almost, in a way, in an attitude, the more times he gets a lap, the less time he's got to drive. <laughs> Looks like he's cruising through certain parts of the track. He's clearly not, clearly not pushing. Leaving a lot in reserve in the corners. Short shifting all the time. Yeah, cruising. So, which will please them because they were all quite paranoid they were going to get rain again. Um, <laughs> it kind of. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say that probably leaves leaves it open for us to get some rain. Which I'm. Um, for 19 drivers in the league in the rain at Monaco could could be difficult for the commentators to follow. <laughs> yeah. It would likely sort of mix up the grid order, which might be uh, add to the excitement. I think it'd be close all the way through. No one's appearing to have a clear sort of went clear advantage. So there's sort of like groups of drivers again, but all those groups are within a couple of tenths of each other. Um, but if it rains, that will just, yeah, completely mix it up. Oh, Mayhem's just nudged a barrier. Bit of a, a bit of a little, a little worry for him then. He just nudged the barrier with the front left, and it sort of ricocheted into the other side of the track. But he got away with it. But even with a lead as big as he's got, it's not comfortable. David Ward is now one minute behind. Well, he is on the softest tyre, and we know that he's been. I thought that was someone crashing him, it wasn't my right side so leaving the session. Um, we know he's been pushing, going for fastest laps. Just and then sort of cruising for a couple of laps and going again. Yeah. David Ward looks like he's lining up for another. Another go. Start lap 56 or 78. 22 laps to go still. <laughs> yeah, and the pace has picked up because, yeah, we were looking at 
nearly taken an hour to do half distance, so it's now 22 laps to go and we've still got about 50, 50 minutes or so on the clock, 40 minutes on the clock before the uh, two hour time limit would hit. So yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Race pace. Um, just showing exactly what the um, what they're all capable of around there. It's just a shame it's the field has sort of dwindled down as much as it has, and that they're all spread out as much as they have. I think David Ward's cruising has. I think he's taken the most out of those tyres, the best out of those tyres. I think David Ward is now just taking it easy. It might not actually be. It might be possible Mayhem could lap the entire field again. As David Ward is going through the tunnel now, Mayhem's going through the hairpin. So he's not too far behind. And if David Ward does have another hit against a barrier and has to come and pit again, that would be enough to put him a lap down. Yeah, he used one set in quality and he's used the set during this race, so he should have another at least one at, at least one more set. So yeah, in theory if he wanted to he could box and yeah, stick another set of ultras on and if he felt brave enough go for a fastest lap, but I think he he's quite content just going around doing this. Most super soft should get him to the end without an issue, especially at this sort of semi race pace. He'll be looking after his fuel and tyres quite nicely. Yeah, it's lost seven seconds in the last couple of laps. I think he probably knows he hasn't got many tyres left to choose from. If he does <laughs> damage anymore. So it might be a case he's just Oh he took a it's down to one a minute six. Is that oh it's one minute eight, sorry, so yeah he is cruising. Losing seconds per sector. Yeah, there's a lot of damage at turn one. Still Sat on the road. Yeah. Which again really surprised me. David Ward again is ghosting. Briefly, I'm just calling him ghosting again. Yeah, the gap is now. 1 minute 12, nearly 1 minute 13, which is only a couple of seconds short 
of a lap around here. So yeah, mayhem. I think mayhem will give it a couple of laps. We'll be in sight of David Ward. catch it on this camera angle actually. actually we just saw P3 go through as well so all three cars go through the same shot in the space of 10 seconds there eh? <laughs> so they're all bunching up again but in reverse order <laughs> third in front of second and second in front of first so yeah there's Soul Man coming into the swimming pool section now David Ward approaching it and Mayhem in the background Funny how things work out. Only three cars on track and they're all within 10 seconds of each other on the racetrack. Solman looks like he's going to go another lap down. But again, as we said earlier, I don't think he really cares at this moment in time. Just happy to go round and uh, pick up what, what will be a fantastic 15 points for him. As Mayhem now comes up to the pair of them. Yeah, the shadows certainly a little lower. So Apologies for that, my controller died, so I lost sound. championship early on. But six out this will be six out of six this will be. So yeah, hundred and fifty points out of hundred and fifty. For the league I believe so. I think the most we see I, know, I, f I I think didn't I did a six run I think in the 2013 in my championship winning year I think I won every race from Suzuka to the end of the season I think that was six races um, but I think yeah SH would have won I think SH won the first he won the first five and then I won the next three at the start of last season. And then I don't know what he did after that, but... In recent times, this is the longest run we've had. He's going to be challenging my um, my record for the most podiums in a season at this rate. <laughs> and the record 
up by May 16 podiums out of 19 races. That's what I got in 2012. But yeah, he couldn't have even dreamt to this start to the season when Australia was approaching. I just yeah, it's um. It's again. It's just this consistent consistency, isn't it? He's the one who's consistently keeping it on the track. He may not have been. Oh, is that David Ward and pulling over? Or has he just been in the barrier? I think he's just yeah. He's just pulled over. Mayhem has just gone by. Um. But yeah, Mayhem has, hasn't led every single lap during the season, but he's just kept it out of the barrier, out of trouble, and he's picked up the pieces at the times when, I think at Spain, he was initially only qualifying on the second row, looking like he was going to have difficulty for that race, but he, that turned out again to be fairly straightforward for him. Um, and it's just been a trend for the whole season. He's won races by a good distance just because he's not got into trouble. And I think he'll be looking at hoping to try and do the clean sweep before Christmas. Only one more round to go for these guys before the Christmas break. If he can do seven out of seven, that will be uh, that will be something else. And the next race will be Canada, and again, the weather could do anything at Canada. And again, it's one of those tracks. Yeah. If it does rain, that could lead to issues, considering it's a track where you want quite low downforce at Canada. So yeah, low downforce in the rain is not normally a good, uh, a good recipe. But yeah, man, I'm now just cruising. It's got almost the entire track ahead of him to himself now because the next person that he'll come up to is a lap will be Soul Man, yeah he's just about to approach the tunnel so he's got about two thirds of a lap ahead of him of clean air just to cruise around now in twelve, eleven laps to go now oh yeah twelve to go now sorry and uh, he leads the race by over a lap so yes, even a even a safety car won't change anything now. Because he's a lap ahead of David Ward and David Ward is a lap or two ahead of Solman. Oh well, yeah, three laps ahead of Solman, sorry. So yeah, so I can't really unless they crash. We're very unlikely to see any changes for position. David Ward's still going deep into the chicane, so he 
still giving it a fair old there I'll go, let's try it racetrack. It's not exactly lifting right off. No, it's it's surely too late into the race now to have an effect. The sun's still out. Yeah. That that could that could be playing on on their minds a little bit. But I, I'm sure we're within the last well, 10 laps now, I think. I think may end on lap 68. I think even if it does risk of rain, it normally gives you a 10, 15 minute warning, which would still be enough to get to the end of the race. So I think Mayhem might have just nudge the barrier there. Certainly look very close to the barrier on the exit of the hairpin. To get to um, get to the ninety percent, it's within from from lap seventy onwards. I think it is seventy lap seventy one. I think it is. They got to get to. So he's two laps away from being classified. No matter what happens. I knew initially that Mayhem was a little bit worried at the start of this race because during practice he was finding himself in the barrier quite quite often um, during practice sessions and, and such and he was very worried but this was just taking all of that worry away so he knows he hasn't got to push he hasn't even The race started off with J19 crashing out within the first four corners of the race. Um, and that was soon followed, I believe it was by David uh, Dave1025, if I remember correctly. And it was Charlie retiring. And then we had the collision with Putland and Mike Whiteside. Um... But yeah, because of J19 crashing on the first lap, technically, Dave, you actually finish ahead of him on the classification. <laughs> it's showing you his P8 and J19 P9. <laughs> um, but obviously not scoring points anyway. Um, but yeah, so we lost J19, Dave, one, two, five, and Charlie quite early on. Um... And then Puzzle and Mike Whiteside crashing not long after the um, second safety car had come in. And ended up leaving us with three drivers, and those three drivers have been pretty much spread apart ever since. And it's just been a cruise to the line. Yeah, so if they, even if there was a safety car now, it wouldn't make a difference because they're all on different laps, so. Unless it was Mayhem who crashed and it allowed David Ward to unlap himself, it wouldn't make a difference. <laughs> yeah, we're in the final 10 laps of the race now.
Is it it's certainly yeah, you're right, it's certainly <laughs> It's certainly getting darker quite quickly now, isn't it? Just looking at the skies. The sun, the shade is gone. The soul man comes out of the pit. But yeah, the shade is gone, there's no no more sun out there. Surely, surely it won't won't rain now. It'll be almost almost too cruel. <laughs> well, yeah, well, apart from Soul Man, it looks like it's just pitted. Everyone else would be the other two guys will be on warm warm tires. So even if there are some drops of rain, there won't be much grip being provided from those sets of tyres. Especially David Ward, I think he's been on these set of ultras for over 20 laps now. Soulman obviously decided he had enough of those soft tyres and went for the super soft. David Ward's fastest lap, 115.8. eight. So he's decided to uh, step on it. He's going again. He's pushing again. the barrier coming out of the corner just before the tunnel that would have been a bit of a, <laughs> a little worry and he's gone deep into the chicane as well he is certainly pushing but I don't believe he stopped again I don't believe he has but that's a unless that's a good good time to set if that is the same set he's been on for the uh, last 20 or so laps. It's a very good time. Appears to be going for it again. Time. Yeah, that's, uh, have a look at the tyres when he uh, go through the slow corners. They do, from my view here anyway, they're looking a little bit of wear on them. So I think they are the same set he's been on for uh, sort of a large part of this second half of the race. So if that is the case, that's very good. Um, very good times to be setting. I know the fuel's coming down, but... What are you doing? Yeah, I say he has been appearing to be cruising for a while, but... To be doing a 115 on lap 73 is... Quite an impressive, impressive little stat, that.
Ooh, that's a heavy whack into the... Is that a puncher? No, it looks like he's got away with it. It looked like he might have gone slow enough there for a sec to get a puncher, but... That is extremely lucky because I don't... I don't think Soul Man is enough laps behind. So if David was to have binned it that lap, I think Solman, if he kept going, would have picked up that second place. But yeah, he's going around again, so he's a very lucky boy to get away with that. second gear through Casino Square. Soul Man is coming up yeah, that Soul Man is coming up to lap again. I'm taking it very easy for a rest gas. Ooh, gone the same way. Yeah. Oh, he's. Oh, yeah, he's got a puncher now. He's now giving himself a puncher, I think. He has, right rear. He nudged the barrier going up the hill. Soul Man's staying behind him. If I was Soul Man, I'd just go past. Yeah, I would have I would have done it before Mirabeau, because he plenty of room, plenty of time. Get him out of the, get him out of this corner going into the tunnel, I reckon. There he goes, just. But yeah, even Coming over the line. Oh, yes, so he has. Again, another good race from Mayhem. I don't believe. I don't believe he lost the wing at all. During this, I think he's only pitted the twice, and that looked like just for for strategy. Once under the safety car, and then once again just when the tyres were probably starting to lose the best of the grip available. So yeah, very good um, drive once again for Mayhem. You've got half a lap to go now. Cruising now, quite understandably. One more corner to go. Mayhem is going to win the GP2 race at Monaco. It's six out of six for Mayhem in this league, and he has got. An unbelievable gap now. There's still a long way to go, but the form he's in, it's going to be very difficult to catch him. Yeah, yep, he's going to be the next one across the line. You know, he's going to be, yeah, five laps down, but yeah, he will take that. P3. 
he'll be extremely happy for that. And David Ward is going to come through in second place, having been through the pit seven times, I believe. Going slowly. Oh, oh! I don't think he's realised that mayhem's already <laughs> already finished. But yeah, but yeah. Look at those penalties. I think they were what? There's seven lots of penalties in total, adding to 21 seconds. Mayhem, only the two penalties are six seconds in total. Soulman getting 12 seconds, but yeah, five laps down for Soulman, but still P3. And still 15 points, and that will that will boost him up the, the table, I think. No need to scroll down the, the table to get the results. Because that is it. So yeah, so only the top three scoring points today. The rest will unfortunately not score because they didn't get far enough into the race to be classified. And that was the GP2 race at Monaco. Next up will be the F1 boys doing the exact same thing here at Monaco um, hoping to have about next Sunday same time 7 o'clock hoping to have 19 cars on the grid um, which would cause us absolute havoc for qualifying in particular um, Q1 could be interesting to look out for um, but yeah we'll see you in a week's time when I believe Mayhem and Mike Whiteside will be your commentators.